Today we're gonna to have my friend Dawn come in and she is a big clencher. You are gonna be amazed at how big these masseter muscles are on her and she actually doesn't even realize it. Has this always been something you've dealt with? Well, it's funny because no, I mean, until I came to see Christy, like I came with my girlfriend a couple weeks ago and she was and literally the first thing. She's like, hi, oh my God, like you're like, what's going on? Like I've been told I have like TMJ and that kind of stuff, but I have never put together mm -hmm. that like that's something that changes the shape of your face. Oh. Most people don't have such pronounced masseter muscles. Your masseter muscles are the muscles in your jaw that you use to clench or chew. Normally, uh, they shouldn't be this big. And so if somebody comes in with really large masseter muscles, I know that they either clench or grind or um, you were even chewing gum that day. Yeah, and you yeah. said, and I, I, haven't like, had, I have not had gum since then. Good, I said stop chewing gum because we all want to work out our muscles evenly, but but because she clenches and grinds, um, she's working out this muscle way more than any other. She came in for something completely different, and when I brought up clenching and grinding, it was like, yes, I hit the nail on the head. She has headaches, she has jaw tension. She has her face is a little bit misshapen now because of it, and it's out of balance. So I knew that we would have a great candidate for a little bit of neuromodulator in her masseter muscles. Eventually, she's gonna wear away the back of her teeth, and it's gonna cause problems in the long run. This is definitely an aesthetic issue, but in the big picture, the reason I brought it up is because of your long-term you know, temporomandibular joint health, and her dentist is gonna thank me. Yes. I bet she's gonna come back after I do it in about three months and tell me that her life is significantly better. So stay tuned. When we're young, our face looks like a triangle where the tip of the triangle is at the chin and then it widens up and gets bigger as we come up to the cheekbones, right? So as we age, the actual bones get a little bit smaller in your face and because of that, a lot of the skin and soft tissue kind of falls forward like this and it gives our face more of a, like a rectangular or square look. Because she is grinding and clenching and building up these masseter muscles right here, it actually makes her cheekbones look like they're smaller. So if you see in relation, this is sticking out more than this. And really, if we're going for a really harmonized look, we would want the opposite. We would want this to come in a bit and this to come out of it. These muscles actually require quite a bit of Botox. Usually it's about 35 to 40 units per side, sometimes up to 50 per side. I always start with the lowest possible, so we're gonna start with 35, and then we're gonna give it maybe about four weeks or so to help that muscle to atrophy, and that means that the muscle's actually gonna get smaller. And then once it's smaller, we'll have her come back, and we might do a teeny bit of filler just along her cheeks, so we're gonna see a difference in the facial structure, it's gonna be probably more like what you look like when you were 30 as right. far as, you know, we're, I'm not trying to make you look 30. Right. You know, we're gonna have little fine lines and that's okay and we don't necessarily want to get rid of all that. We definitely want to keep that facial structure that's really harmonious. Right. It usually takes about two weeks to really tell the difference. You won't wake up with headaches and soreness as much, but then for that muscle to atrophy, so atrophy means get smaller, for that muscle to get smaller, I usually tell people to give it about a month because just like any other muscle, if you work it out, it gets bigger. And when you stop working it out, it's gonna get smaller, but it takes a little while for that to happen. So she's gonna notice in the first couple of weeks the tension and the pain decreased and then after about four to six weeks she's really going to notice a change in her facial um, symmetry and so instead of being really wide at the base which is what happens when you have overactive masseter muscles or the the grinding and clenching and chewing muscles those will will be diminished in size and her face will look much more proportional much more even and balanced 
So I always tell people when I inject this area with neuromodulators to be kind of aware that over the next few weeks, because that muscle is actually getting weaker, you might notice that when you're chewing something like bubble gum or steak or something that like necessitates a lot of chewing and grinding, your muscle might get fatigued earlier because it's so used to being so strong and bulky. And now that we're debulking it, we're kind of taking some of the strength away. And you might after a minute or so go, oh, I'm a little tired. Oh, I'm really? used to having a really strong muscle here. It's not as strong as it used to be. It might get a little bit worn out sooner, but you'll get used to it. I, I use these teeny little needles that are um, pretty much painless. And the reason why I take the cap off is because every time you put the needle through the cap, it dulls it. And when you dull the needle, it hurts more. Oh. Clench down. Good. So this is the area of the muscle. So this side is actually not as strong as the other side. Okay, so clench down. You can see the striations in the muscle. And relax and clench down again. Yeah. Okay, good, you can relax. Good, and one, two, three, you can relax now. So I do a little shaking thing and that helps to um, decrease the pain. That's it. How was that? That wasn't bad. Just making sure I'm right where I wanna be and relax. One, two, three, little shake, 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 shake. Some people just do a couple injections, but I do more because I wanna make sure that it's really evenly distributed. So it might be more pokes, but to me, I get better results. Scale of one to 10, as far as how much that hurts. Ah, like a two or a three. Good, yeah. Are we all done? Oh, we are all done. That was amazing. I mean, that was pretty quick. So I mean, it really was. Let's just do it again with saline, just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll see you back in about, let's say, six weeks or okay. a month or so. And it's going to be pretty um, amazing, the, the difference. Okay. Yes, I'm very excited about like the before and after. Mm -hmm. For sure.